Hello all, welcome along to another video on the channel. Great to have you with me again. Please do remember to hit that subscribe button if you've not already done so to help support the channel. Please also consider joining the channel to support me even more. There are various membership packages that you can take a look at if you want uh, members only videos and other perks. But let's get right into business with this video. I'm going to talk about something that admittedly has passed me by over the last month or so, uh, announced by Microsoft in late August. I'm going to talk all about open book Microsoft certifications for role-based exams. What is it? What does it involve? What does it mean for you as somebody who might be taking a Microsoft role-based exam? Let's dive straight in and take a look. So this feature was announced on the 22nd of August of this year. So as I said, it's uh, escaped me for a little while and I've only just learned about it. But this is an absolutely great thing for those who need a little bit of extra uh, help during Microsoft exams because let's face it, they can be very, very challenging for uh, any of us at the best of times. And it can be so frustrating when you're sitting there looking at a question and you think, you know, I actually know this, I know this, but right now my brain just won't get to it. So I think Microsoft are being very, very um, good in their approach, flexible in their approach, reasonable in their approach, empathetic in their approach here by allowing you to access learn.microsoft.com to look things up within your uh, actual test. Um, so what does this actually look like? If we scroll through the article, um, it shows you everything that you need to know about the resource. You will have access to everything in learn.microsoft.com uh, except Q&A and your profile. It's important to note that extra time will not be added. The exam timer will continue as you search, learn for whatever information you need. The resource is only available on role-based exams. That's important to know, not on fundamentals. So any of the 900 exams, you're not gonna get this capability just yet. And this resource will be available in the same languages in which the exam is available. So how do you use it? To use it during your exam, you'll select the Microsoft Learn button, which is available on the exam question screen. So there it's circled there. Uh, and that'll open Microsoft Learn in a split screen to the right of the exam question. And then you can navigate through the website as you normally would and expand it to full screen if you prefer. So we've got some screenshots here showing what that looks like. Wonderful. After selecting the icon, you get Microsoft Learn there. Open on that split screen. Your question is to the left, Microsoft Learn to the right. You can launch multiple tabs of the Learn website and navigate the different portions of the site, except again the Q&A section and your personal profile. Um, so this is really cool stuff. And you can adjust how much of the screen shows the question and how much shows Microsoft Learn with a splitter between each window. And you can open Microsoft Learn into full screen as well. And full screen mode includes the test timer at the top and the question count information in the header. Web browsing is obviously restricted to the Microsoft Learn domain, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, and while the Microsoft Learn site includes links to other web pages, such as GitHub, attempts to navigate to other web domains will prompt a message in the test window indicating that the site is blocked. You get this little yellow alert there. Now, Microsoft do provide a, a full demonstration of the feature set. So why don't we switch over to that tab which I happen to have ready, and we'll take a quick look at what it looks like. So here we go. Um, this is a five minute video. We'll go through it and see exactly how this looks. And uh, I will narrate over the top of it. So this is a typical exam question, uh, question one of 10. In this case, you've got the usual sort of time remaining and the overall exam progress uh, that you've been through. Uh, and here we go. What is your favorite sound? A bell, a bird, a river, or a whistle? Um, so let's hit play and see what happens here. What does this actually look like? And following is a brief demonstration of Microsoft Learn Open Book feature. On all questions except lab tasks, the Microsoft Learn button will be added to the test user interface. There we go. Pressing the button will open a second browser window uh, with the Microsoft Learn site loaded to the home page. So there we go, that's what it looks like, amazing. The new window will occupy half of the screen width. Yeah, looking good. The other half will show the question that you're on. 
Brilliant. Test takers will be able to drag the center bar to resize each of the browser windows. So let's see what that looks like. It looks good. Slide that across. That's pretty intuitive. Really nice. I like that. Wonderful stuff. And a menu is available at the top of the test window, so <clears throat> which contains controls for the following features. So we can view in split screen mode. We can view in full screen mode. And the last one is open additional tabs. So we can add a tab loaded again to the Microsoft Learn homepage. Wonderful stuff. So switching to the full screen mode shows the Microsoft Learn site across the full width of the screen. There we go. Looks good. And we can still see at the top there, um, we can still see all the controls and the time remaining and the question number in the upper left part of the screen. Fantastic stuff. This is really cool indeed. Uh, the time will continue to run, yeah, while the learn window is open. Fantastic. I love this. And uh, the menu toggle views uh, will remain visible in the upper middle portion of the window while in full screen mode. Fantastic stuff indeed. The plus sign on the toggle menu will open additional tabs loaded to the Microsoft Learn homepage. Uh, yeah, there we go. Jolly good indeed. That's pretty intuitive stuff. I like that a lot. Uh, in the Microsoft Learn window, test takers may navigate to different areas of learn.microsoft.com. So you can uh, go to documentation there. Yeah, go to different tabs. Uh, go to code samples. Browse the code samples. Azure machine learning examples. So you can you can get to that, but trying to open a link, ah, right, okay, outside of the learn.microsoft.com. So we're trying to link to a, a GitHub link here. You're gonna get blocked by design. So let's see, there we go, there's that access denied. So that's pretty cool. It's pr pretty obvious what you've tried to do there and you may not visit this link, which is absolutely fair. To be honest, uh, I think it's uh, it's pretty fair of Microsoft to go this far and let you have learn.microsoft.com during your actual exam. This is absolutely wonderful stuff. There we go, we've got the return to question button visible at all times so we can get back there if used in full screen mode uh, and the normal view will reappear. So there we go, we're back at our question. I like this very, very much. and. Uh, and then the, the button can be used again and again throughout your test to reopen the learn site. So you can go back um, and it'll open in the last view that was open during the test, either full screen or split screen. The URL locations and the number of tabs in the Microsoft Learn window will be remembered. Reopening a closed window will restore the tabs and the website locations. Wonderful. And... Uh, yeah, into our split screen again, and test takers can navigate through and answer the questions, as well as use available exam features. The window with the Microsoft Learn site will remain open. Uh, yeah, if you click next, okay, I see. And you can mark questions to review later. We've got our incomplete question, and we can go and look at that later on. Okay, I see. So go back to questions. Um, understood. Let me close. Yeah, uh, by closing all of the open tabs. Fantastic, fantastic. So this is very flexible. I, I really like this. Uh, it'll be interesting to see um, next time I take an exam if I actually use this. So what's this? It is possible to tab through. Yeah, yeah. Any all right? Tab through to use all the keyboard controls. The tab order will will the various elements of each window. I see, okay, pretty good stuff. Oh, I see, so you can tab through all of the options with your tab key oh, no, along the bottom there. That's cool, very, very handy indeed, and through all the Microsoft Learn content there. And we're putting in a search for Azure Portal. Okay, uh, I don't know how that relates to bananas, but there we go, that's the end of the demonstration. Amazing stuff. Indeed, I absolutely love that. Um, so, oh, wonderful, great addition by Microsoft. I think it's um, fantastic for those who just need that little bit of extra help because uh, Microsoft exams can be really stressful uh, and challenging. Some, some people 
will breeze through them. Not everyone has that memory recall that uh, we're all different as people. Some some people remember things, photographic memory. Other people need that little bit of a reminder, which will help steer you towards that correct answer. Or, at the very least, uh, the tip that I always give people to eliminate the more obviously incorrect answers. If you're not sure the right answers, try and eliminate the incorrect answers. Wonderful stuff indeed. There you go. Top stuff indeed, don't you think? I, I'm sure you'll agree this is a, a really, really great thing that Microsoft have done here because, as I said in the uh, the main bulk of the video there, as we went through it, uh, it's amazing, really, when you consider um, when you're in test conditions that you're able to go into learn.microsoft.com now and, and look things up just to validate what you probably already know but you you've we've all been there i think haven't we in a microsoft exam and you think oh i know this but you start to doubt yourself there's that little bit of doubt creeps in that oh but it could just be that one so this is going to give you just that little bit more uh of uh, that certainty that reassurance that what you already know you can reinforce that with uh, a little bit of uh, looking up a little bit of guidance. And it's it's completely fair, it's completely controlled. You can't cheat beyond looking at learn.microsoft.com. You're not gonna be able to get outside of that into GitHub. So um, I, can, I can imagine there's probably some people who don't think it's fair, but um, I think it's brilliant, I really do, because as somebody who, a long, long time ago, be, be before um, my, my life in, in this world of community and the MVP world, I, I always felt I couldn't do exams, but then suddenly something clicked within me. But, and I don't, I, to this day, I don't know what that was, but I was lucky. Something, as I said, something just clicked, but not everyone's going to have that. There's going to be people who just get frustrated and stuck and think, oh, I, this is too stressful. This is, I can't concentrate. And this is going to help them. This is going to help them to feel calmer, to feel reassured, and to apply to their answers things that they actually already know, but they just need that little bit of support uh, to, to, to get over the line. So I love it. I think it's a great initiative. Well done, Microsoft. Um, and the renewals a year later after you've got your certification, I think they're very fair as well. I often talk about the fact that they're not under exam conditions. There's a number of questions that you, multiple choice again, that you can do um, as many times as you want um, to, to get right. So I think Microsoft are not trying to make additional money out of people for recertification. They just want you to go in and make sure your knowledge is fresh and up to date and learn the latest changes. So I think this is a very positive step overall. Fair play to Microsoft. Good stuff all around. Right, let's wind up the video. Uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and any of my other content. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about open book exams in role-based Microsoft certifications. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so uh, we grow and reach a wider audience. That's things like hitting that like button, the subscribe button, all gonna help me spread around that YouTube algorithm to help us grow and uh, broaden our community of learning and sharing. Learn, share, and repeat. That's the motto of this channel. Um, and that's about it. So I wish you well. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're well, and I'll see you on another video very, very soon. Bye-bye.